Wildcraft Restaurant in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada is a very popular spot for date nights or celebrating special occasions. It sort of has that casual upscale vibe that works really well for last minute drinks, a gathering with friends, or celebrating a birthday anniversary or another special occasion. My name is Jen and my husband Andrew and I recently had dinner at Wildcraft in Waterloo and today I'm going to give you our full review of the food, the service, the ambiance, the location. So let's go. So hi there and welcome to the channel. My name is Jen Leist. I am an adoptive mom of six children from rural Ontario, Canada, and we are a family that generally lives quite simply. But because of those six children, my spouse and I do take any opportunity we can to kind of escape and have a bit of a date night. It is totally worth it to splurge sometimes. So currently Ontario is closed down once again to indoor dining due to the pandemic. So I was really excited that we got a chance to visit Wildcraft for indoor dining actually the day before they locked down again. But hopefully when you are watching this review, everything's open again and you can visit the place yourself. I will say though, they offer almost the exact same menu as their dine-in menu for curbside pickup. So as I'm reviewing the food today, you might wanna try some of those out as takeout to have at home. Some background information about Wildcraft. It is part of the Charcoal Group in Kitchener-Waterloo, which is sort of a conglomerate of restaurants. If you're from that area, you may be familiar with the Charcoal Steakhouse, Bauer Kitchen, Sociable. There are lots of different wonderful restaurants within this group and Wildcraft is one of them. However, each and every one of these restaurants is very unique unto themselves. And I think I would possibly count Wildcraft as among my favorite of the entire group. You can make reservations through Open Table online, which is exactly what we did, but I will say it's a popular joint. So you're gonna wanna make reservations well in advance unless you wanna end up sitting at the bar. I do feel we were very spoiled on this particular visit. Because of COVID rules, there was a lot of restriction on how many people could be in the dining room. So I didn't count more than kind of half a dozen couples dining at the same time as we were, which meant lots of great service, lots of space, nobody sitting right beside you overhearing your conversations. And one thing I did request through Open Table was to sit near their fireplace. We have visited Wildcraft before on a number of occasions and I've never gotten to sit next to their massive, gorgeous indoor fireplace. So I put that little request in with my fingers crossed and what do you know, when we showed up, that is exactly where we got sat. It was so beautiful. It was just kind of one of those dreary, cold days outside and being able to sit by the fire just the ambiance of it after a long Canadian winter. We absolutely loved it. I will say if you prefer to be on the cool side while you're eating, you're not gonna wanna sit here because it does give off a lot of heat. <laughs> so word to the wise, but if you're the type like me that does like to put on a cozy sweater and be nice and toasty warm, then you're gonna love the spot by the fireplace. This was actually an outing to celebrate my birthday, so I feel like it was a bit of birthday luck that we got that spot. Sidebar about service. On a previous occasion, Andrew and I had gone to Wildcraft and somehow our online reservation got lost or something got mixed up and we got sat like squished in at the bar. It was really kind of crummy because it was one of those times where we just needed an escape and we didn't love that we sat there. We waited like over an hour for our entree, which I thought was so unusual for this place. The manager actually comped us our main dishes because we had that experience at that time. We didn't complain or anything about having to be sat at the bar. I think they could just see our disappointment. <laughs> And ever since then, I've kind of had a little special spot in my heart for Wildcraft because um, at the time when we went, we didn't have a whole lot of extra cash and to be able to have our main courses comped was just such a nice thing for them to have done. But anyway, I digress. This evening was totally different than that experience. Everything with our reservations obviously went off without a hitch and the service was amazing, but I will get to the service later. First, let's talk about the most important part, the food. Something really great about Wildcraft is they do tend to change up pieces of their menu depending on the season for different celebrations, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's, they'll put different things on there that are quite unique. They have specials and I really appreciate that the chef does change this menu up because 
Wildcraft is not a gourmet priced meal. Okay, you're looking at 20 to $30 entrees. So for a place that is that inexpensive to eat and for the ambiance you're getting, I think it's quite extraordinary that they are as creative with the menu as they are. My husband and I decided to split an app. We got the crispy fried calamari with shishito peppers and dill pickle tartar sauce. When there is calamari on the menu, we always try to get it, not just because we love it, but because we also love to take pictures of ourselves eating the calamari and then going home to our kids and telling them we ate octopus for supper. I know that sounds ridiculous, <laughs> but it always grosses our kids out and we get a real kick out of it. But it was darn delicious. Let me tell you, this was not rubbery calamari like you can sometimes get at Red Lobster, people. This was tender and melt in your mouth. Our server let us know that the batter is gluten-free, so this was a really great option if you are someone who is gluten-free. And the peppers, if you're someone who doesn't like hot peppers, you'll be fine with these. There was a little bit of heat, but not much. And um, even for myself, I find jalapenos to be hot a lot of time and I didn't find these peppers to be that way at all. They were just a really good complement to the dish. One thing I would have loved to see more of was the tartar sauce, the dill pickle tartar sauce. It was so delicious, but it only came in like this little ramekin, which I didn't think was enough for a full plate of calamari. So maybe they would have given us more if I had mentioned it when we were there. But um, anyway, that would be my only thing about this app. Um, more tartar sauce, please. Drinks. Full disclosure, I was on medication at this time when we visited and it could not be mixed with alcohol. So we chose just to drink water that night and our water was always topped up, but I've had wine off their menu lots of times in the past. They have an extensive list and a beautiful display of their wine cooler, if that's something that's important to you. Mains. I had the Ale Brine Roasted Chicken Supreme. It came with roasted garlic, mashed Yukon potatoes, buttered asparagus and French onion jus. Now this is a bit of a staple on the Wildcraft menu. It's been on there for years and years and for a good reason. This chicken was tender, it was delicious. But what I really have to say about this dish is the potatoes, the potatoes, the potatoes. It is not often that a side dish outshines the main protein on a plate and the chicken was really, really good. So that should tell you how good these mashed potatoes are. The dish was $25 and I probably would have been happy even to pay $25 just for a full huge dinner plate of those mashed potatoes. Um, carbo load anyone? But honestly, they came in this cute mason jar and I am a canner. I love mason jars. So I really liked that. That's how they were presented. So needless to say, if you are going to Wildcraft, make sure one of your sides are those mashed potatoes. Andrew had the wild field mushroom tagliatelle, which is a type of wide pasta. Our server told us that the pasta was house-made, which again, really surprised me for the dish. It was a $20 entree. To get that type of pasta was a really good value. You'll find that wild mushrooms feature prominently on this menu, fitting with the restaurant's theme. And it came with white wine, truffle, garlic, chili, extra virgin olive oil, herbs, and Stemler's bacon. Stemler's is a pork provider in the Kitchener-Waterloo area. With all of the German heritage in this vicinity, you do want to try out their pork, trust me. Now, when it mentioned that it came with Stemler's bacon, like we're picturing, you know, bacon sprinkled on top. You guys would not believe how much bacon is in this dish, like big, thick slab, delicious, juicy bacon, and there was so, so much of it. It was amazing, and we both agreed that of our two entrees, we actually liked the pasta best, and that's the one we would get again. Now, before I get to the star of the show, the dessert, obviously, <laughs> I need to say a word about the ambiance and decor of Wildcraft. First of all, any woman will tell you that you can tell the true caliber of a restaurant by its rest rooms. If there is a restaurant that is touting itself as gourmet, you better have some darn nice washrooms. And if you don't, I'm sorry, but it does not pass muster. Ladies, if you are visiting Wildcraft, do not miss going down their big, huge, wide staircase and into the ladies' room. You will not be sorry. Okay, am I the only one here who judges a place by its washrooms? I hope not. In typical male fashion, Andrew took no note of the men's room and he had no idea what I was talking about when we left after the evening was over. But I personally could have had a nap in the ladies' room. 
And by that I mean there was a literal humongous comfy couch in the ladies room. There were multiple flat screen TVs, there was beautiful artwork and quotes all over the place. Every toilet area was like its own little kind of water closet room so you felt like you were really set apart. The sink and the plumbing were super posh. I just love these restrooms and every time I go to Wildcraft I have to use them. However, around the rest of the dining rooms the decor is really outstanding. Along the theme of wild there is a lot of kind of bamboo, grass is rock, wood, it's, it's kind of just that very modern, rugged Canadiana look. The light fixtures are spectacular. And you can also eat outdoors, so that counts as another dining area if that's what you prefer, and it's beautiful out there. They have gas fireplaces, heaters, lots of plant life and rocks as well to make your evening special. I think for the price, this is a really outstanding location. All right, on to dessert. Because it was my birthday, our lovely waitress surprised me with a huge slice of chocolate cake, beautiful lettering. I hardly wanted to eat into it as often happens when you get something special like that. But if you are a chocolate lover, this is a fabulous way to end your meal. Obviously we could have stopped there and just accepted the freebie dessert, but my sister had told Andrew and I that we really needed to try the phyllo wrapped cheesecake. So that's exactly what we did. My husband's a big cheesecake fan. And just reading the description, phyllo wrapped baked white chocolate cheesecake with cranberry compote and rosemary creme. It comes double baked for only $9.50. So what did we have to lose? Um, thank you, Kara, my sister, for recommending this dessert because it really was like, I can't believe I've been eating cheesecake cold all of these years because a warm cheesecake is so, so good. And our server actually told us that the chef has tried to remove this dessert from the menu several times because um, they get tired of making it, but there's revolt every time they try to remove it because it's such a good dessert and it really was. And having the cranberry compote was just something that little different than your typical cherry or blueberry you might get with a cheesecake. And I honestly went home dreaming about this dessert. It was that good, you've got to try it. A word about service, our server was exceptional. I actually felt really bad for her because she was so friendly, she obviously loved her job so much, very knowledgeable about the menu, and made some great recommendations for us. And to think that the very next day she would be getting laid off due to another shutdown was really sad. And so I hope that when things open back up, she is back there on staff and is getting all the tips because she totally deserves it. Um, her level of service was impeccable. Have you eaten at Wildcraft in Waterloo before? If so, what did you think about it? Let us know in the comments below and also let us know what are your favorite dishes off the menu. The menu is extensive. It's a huge menu, you guys. There is so much on there, it would take forever to try everything. So I think it would be great if we got some comments below and people could share what they thought um, because then it's everybody's opinion, not just mine, and it would maybe help people make a choice if they're considering going out to eat here. If you would like to watch more of our reviews on great places to visit here in Ontario, please check to the side here. I'll also link some below in the description box, like our stay at Langdon Hall, our trip to Blue Mountain Scandinavian Spa, or our dinner out at King Street Trio in Kitchener. Or if you're just interested to know more about our big family and how we live on less here in Ontario, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and like this video. We'll see you soon, guys. For the least, this is Jen.